Good morning, YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I would make a video. It is April the 29th, 2023. It is a Saturday morning. And it's 9.19. Outside it's cloudy. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. And uh, my wife left this morning. My wife is always leaving. She's always on the go, even though so she's retired. She has to be productive. She has to accomplish something every day. To me, the greatest accomplishment for me each day is getting out of bed. <laughs> That's about it with me. Uh, I'm not really on the move. Uh, so I got up this morning about 7 o'clock. My wife was left at 8. She went to church to make pig in the blankets, which they sell to raise money for missions. So um, my wife is doing that. And I've been writing in my diary as is my habit. I'm on page 355 for the year 2023. Soon we'll be in the month of May. It will be in the month of May. <laughs> and then we'll just keep on writing. So I'm kind of out of it these days. I'm just not really, I don't know what it is. I, I've been feeling kind of flippant. <laughs> is that the word? I mean, sometimes I wonder if I'm feeling depressed or angry or just sick of the whole thing. I mean, it's kind of hard just to blank things out. I hate to be, uh, you know, a prophet of doom, <laughs> uh, but the world really gets to me, and uh, which kind of bothers me because maybe the world's not supposed to get to me. Uh, I don't know how people can live in this world. Maybe that's why there's so much drug addiction and suicides and people taking antidepressants and people dropping out and I don't know anyway I did get a book in the mail yesterday I ordered this the wandering mind maybe that's what I I'm suffering the wandering mind how medieval monks tell us about distraction by Jamie Kramner so I got this book in the mail. This strap is in the way. Let me get rid of it. So I got this book in the mail yesterday and I read 55 pages of it. Uh, on Basically it was like the history of, er, of early monasticism, which I've read about, but it was still somewhat interesting. Uh, the book was kind of expensive. I think I've got it for, I don't know, $28. And um, usually I don't buy new books, but I saw this book on BookTube and uh, I'm, medieval, I'm an into medieval spirituality and I just went along with my reading lately the pierced by love divine reading with the christian tradition by hans borsma and uh, platonism mystical theology the spiritual director of saint gregory of nisa by john danu i haven't gotten this book yet the holy spirit i've been reading this but then i kind of got out of it on the Holy Spirit by Robert Lethem. So these are kind of things I do to distract my mind, <laughs> to
to fill my mind up with stuff that's not just the noise from my uh, t uh, tinnitus. And, uh, and like, you know, I just wrote and, you know, I have noise going on in my head all the time. I have my uh, tinnitus and then I have the, the inner voice, the inner chatter in my brain. It's like, it's like I was thinking when I was reading The Wandering Mind about men and women going off into the desert, going off in, to get away from distractions. I can never get away from distractions. Uh, I have this noise in my left ear constantly, night and day. And then I have that inner voice inside my head just constantly going. And I'm always reading, I'm always writing, I'm always, there's always noise, inner noise, outer noise. Uh, there's never a state of stillness or silence. It's just like, I'm just constantly, and my wife, she's constantly either talking to herself or talking to me or just, there's always noise. It's like, you, I don't remember the last time I've ever experienced silence of any kind. Before I had my uh, tinnitus, I would go for a hike in the woods and I would sit in the woods. Uh, there's one park that I go to, they have benches, steel benches throughout the park in different locations and you can sit and just listen to the birds or the wind blowing or just the silence of, of nature and that is no longer open to me. So, um, I also have these books I, to distract me, Bookworm Compensations with Michael Silverbratt. I haven't read this in a, since I got it. I, I read it for a couple of days, kind of Got this to distract me. The fifth impossibility essays on exile and language by Norma Norman Mena. And uh, I basically finished this uh, The Hooligans Return of Memoir by Norman Mena. These I haven't really gotten into less couple days, The Letters of William Gaddis, edited by Stephen Moore. Psychonauts, Drugs, and the Making of the Modern Mind by Mike J. These are the kind of things I keep around me to uh, distract me. Uh, I really got into this. I was reading uh, that one book I showed you. No, I... I don't have it with me. But anyway, I've been reading this the last couple of days. The Dainu, the, Dain, the Dainu River by Claudia Migris. I've been reading this pretty steadily the last two days. I read 113 pages. I'm getting kind of exhausted by reading it. It demands a lot of thinking, but I've been enjoying the read. The Dayum, is that what it's called? But this is translated out of the Italian by Patrick Craig. So, and I'm still reading The Rakes of the Old Court, a novel by this guy. Translated out of Romanian by Sheen Coder. Coder. And uh, I haven't got into this yet. I want to The Garden of the Seven Twilights by Minguel de Palo. I want to get into this. I haven't got into it. I'm still reading for distraction the story of a life by this, I think this is translated out of Russian by Douglas Smith. Uh, 
And I'm still reading Divine Days by Leon Force. Still reading The Hive by Camille Josila. So these are kind of things that I have around me uh, when I'm wandering in time span. <laughs> what I do to It's kind of like I read my I read these Christian books in the mornings. Like I've said, I still have Hans Borsma, Five Things Theologians Wish Biblical Scholars Knew. So I read these in the morning. Like you know, I just don't sit here and just read. I write. You know, I'll get up and I'll watch the birds. I'll go over to the main computer in the living room and look things up, and I'll go downstairs. To the main library and look up stuff and I just kind of drift through the day I kind of like just like my goal is to get from the morning afternoon evening and night and uh, if I get through a day that's a miracle for me that's something I really uh, that's just my goal each day uh, and the best way to get through that a day is not to have any kind of appointments or have to go anywhere. I just can sit here in this house, in this neighborhood, and I can just focus on getting through the time span. I do want to read this this morning, The Pierce by Love. Last Yesterday morning I had to run off to the book nook. Friday, I volunteer at the Library Used Bookstore, which is closing at the end of June after the Friends of Library Used Book Sale because they're going to remodel the downstairs of the library and they're closing the book nook and it won't open up until April of 2024. So over a year, it'll be closed. So, in a way, I kind of look forward to it because I don't really like living, leaving the house. I can go to the book nook because I've been doing it for so many years, but I look forward to just staying home, not having any appointments, nowhere I have to go. Now, I know as I get older, I should walk, I should exercise, I should move my body because uh, if you don't, exercise you get weaker and weaker and weaker and I don't want to become that immobile in my old age so that's what's going on here today's a Saturday Carol probably won't be home until noon and uh, I'll read I'll write in my diary look at my books I don't know, I'm not really, some of these things I'm kind of not really looking at right now. I'm kind of like a little burnt out. I do want to get, probably today, I probably will get back into reading Divine Days by Leon Force. If I read anything this morning, or this afternoon I mean. I do, I might read this, this afternoon, Story of a Life. I did look at this last night when I was down the lower level before I went to bed. This is a book I bought years ago by uh, Reading for My Life, Writings from 1958 to 2008 by John Leonard. These are kind of like rev book reviews. Uh, it's kind of dated, the books. If I mentioned the books to you guys, you wouldn't know what, who they were. But I bought this. This came out in... 2012. I have other books by him. So, but I've been mainly reading this the last couple of days. And like I said, I read this last night. And I want to get back into reading this. So.
So, I'm reading this. But like this morning, I'll probably read Pierced by Love. I did read a lot of this yesterday, the new book I got in the mail yesterday, Wandering Mind, What Medieval Monks Tell Us About Distraction by Jamie Premer. So, that's it here. Not much going on. I just want to stop and say good morning. Hope you're having, you had a good reading week. Hope you have a good reading weekend. Like I said, I'm hanging in there. I'm kind of just getting through the day, praying, trying not to freak out. I told myself I should think positive. I tend to be very negative. I tend to look at the dark side of life. I tend to be kind of very pessimistic, gloom and doom. And it's really a, a battle just to stay focused on spiritual realities, focus on divine realities, like keep my mind on eternal truths. Maybe that's why I, I got, providentially, maybe that's why I got this book in the mail. Maybe this book will help me to get my mind focused so i just thought i'd stop by and say good morning hope you had a good week hope you have a good weekend i did respond to old comments last night before i went to bed i try to respond to all the comments even sometimes i don't really know or understand the comments sometimes they're very um abstract but i do like comments I do like interaction with those who watch my videos, who bear with me as I wander the American wasteland, as I engage in spiritual warfare, as I wrestle with the darkness and seek the eternal light of the glory of Christ. With that, I'll sign off. I think I've done enough rambling. I'll write some more in my diary. I gotta put this page away. Cause I gotta start on page 356. It's kind of crazy, you know, I'm writing this diary and I've been doing this for many, many years. Going on 44 years and all of it's gonna be burned up when I'm dead. <laughs> And, uh, but I write because it's just what I do. I breathe, I eat, I write, I read. I eat, I breathe, I sleep, I write, I read. Uh, it's just like um, you get in this little state of motion, in this little space, this little flow of time. <laughs> that you have. Uh, it's just the way life is. It's unavoidable. What else can you do? You just got to keep going. Keep your eyes on the prize. Seek the Lord. And uh, pray for the second coming of Christ. So I hope you're having a good weekend. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And until next time, bye.